everybody, welcome back to Let's Play La Mulana. This is like episode 7, I think. So if you're just starting out here, that's it's crazy talk, you guys. What are you doing? What are you doing with your lives? You need to watch my other La Mulana episodes. What's this thing say? Nothing? Well, I definitely want to take this little... Well, we'll just land on it, right? No, we won't. We'll miss it completely. And miss those spikes, too, because I'm a G. Oh, wait, what's going on here? Uh, lots of switches. Yeah, it's me. You need to come by more often. Now then, there are switches in these ruins that will activate puzzles when stepped on. If you see a section of the floor that's kind of raised up, it's probably a switch. Sometimes just standing on them won't do nothing, meaning you need more weight. In those cases, try landing on them from somewhere high up, or jump and stomp. Okay. Where are, there are no sections that look like that here. You're just lying to me. You're just playing with me. Let's see what this has to say. In order to return the mother to the heavens, Bado, Miguela, Lido, and Futo built a flying tower. Where's this G jerk, though? Ah, oh, hell. The first. Oh, God in heaven. Whoa. Child Zero. What the hell? Let's place the spirit of the night child in the body of Child Zero. The seventh child cast the mother away. The eighth child did not know the mother. It's just like nonstop puzzles and crap here, man. Like, I am not. I don't know anything. The youngest socket tread his own path. He put a key on Leto's body, falling into slumber with his powers in hand. It's like a little ghost up there chilling, which I don't like. Oh, they're just like popping out of everywhere. It's like Ghost Central over here. Alright, so... I guess I'm just kind of chilling. That thing's gonna hit me. We are the second race born of the Great Mother. We were created in order to return the Mother to the Heavens. Let me tell you the sad tale of our race. The race began with nine brothers. Zibu... Ba oh, so these are brothers. Zibu, Badu, Miguel, Lido, Lido, Futo, Abudo, G, or Jai, Ribu, and Socket. Okay, jump, 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 god. Can I kill this thing? I want to kill this thing really bad. I didn't take too much damage. Um, percentage or something. Probably not percentage. Endless corridor. Can I kill this? Oh, they shoot pollen or something. Oh, it's like quick bats. Fantastic. It's exactly what I wanted, was bats that are more annoying. Does this guy say anything? No. Where, where am I? What am I doing with my life? Kill this thing really quick. I should have killed him in like height order. Because this one's got a weirder trajectory, I think. Making a lot of money in here, so that's always good. Gotta make that money, son. It's the important thing in life. Oh my god, is this a maze? Like, uh, like an old Super Mario style maze, like I need to tie, or I need to go through the right levels at the right time, because I swear I, I heard like a tone or something. Well, so far these pollen things are pretty easy to avoid. I imagine that they're going to have different times and different timings and stuff eventually, and maybe be with different... See, it makes a weird sound right there. Why the sound? Oh goodness. Oh gracious, that's not even a guy I can talk to. Makes a weird sound over there. Whoa! Those things have pretty precise aim though. It looks like they can kind of shoot wherever they want to. I kind of want to check this tablet to see. I'm probably not even supposed to be down here. I feel like I haven't accomplished much with my life, with my playthrough. The same rooms no matter how far I go. Yeah, so that's what they mean by the corridor being endless. It, that's exactly what it is. It's one of these. I can't read that either, so I'm not sure what it is. So there is a secret. Call forth the dragon that sleeps in this land. Follow the true flow, and the answer shall be entrusted to the dragon. Is there a dragon? What if I go in through a different way? Does it make a different tone? It makes the same tone every time. Y 
Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's not perfect. From where I'm standing, that seems kind of kind of lame. It's got like a little infinity symbol down there. How much life does do those take? Because I knew they'd become harder to avoid. Kill that thing. There's a save stone up there that we might as well go to. Oh, shit. Except if I am going to die here. Let's go in here and see what's going on. Whoa! Oh my, you're human. I am the queen of the fairies. Live in these ruins. Perfect voice. Uh, the four philosophers instructed us to help the humans who visit us here, and thus we have been waiting. My fellow fairies will help you. But first you must prove that you're worthy of our powers. Find Isis's pendant, which lies somewhere in these ruins. Oh, bring the pendant to me. Only then shall we be able to help you. Uh, now I'm pretty good. Isis is pendant. Take it to the Queen of the Fairies. I'm going to forget where you are, but take a left at the endless, endless, endless corridor. Kill that thing. Now let's read some email. Fairies, yo, 24. Oh, God. What's up? It's me. Apparently, there's a race called Fairies living, still living in the ruins, yo. This guy's so awesome. They will only help the one that holds the right treasure. That's right. So maybe you should search for the treasure first. Know what I'm saying? Look at the map, and if there are rooms with suspicious names, just check it out, yo. Okay, I will. Do I still not know how to use the map then? Because I feel like I can't check names. Okay, I'm dodging stuff. Killing stuff with my up. There, there's like an up direction too. Okay, so no. Yeah, and then you just go back to the front. Fine. I mean, 24. I'm obviously not supposed to be there yet, I guess. I think I can jump. Yeah, I'm fine. Can I? Okay. They're like the, uh, oh, what was that? Adventure in the Magic Kingdom? They're like the ghosts in that? You probably can't kill them, but they probably only hurt you when they're visible. Uh, well, I can go down here, so let's do that. There is some stuff on a wall. Whoa, hey, look at me go. A mural with carvings of the moon, sun, and stars. Look like it's built to spin. Yeah, didn't get hit. Celestial bodies lie within. Control celestial bodies and even time may be shifted. All right, but what's the order? Seems like for this contraption, you need to land on the floating platform with a lot of power. It won't budge if you don't jump from high enough. Proof? Jump as good as a stone, so when I hopped onto the platform, I slipped and fell to my death. <laughs> death, how's that for proof? Well, that's sad, dude. I don't want to know about that so I can do so but what's the actual puzzle like what are the celestial bodies oh I can kill these things do I have to try something is there another switch to try it's the sun the moon and the stars I don't know. Is there maybe, were there hints in the other sections that I was supposed to know about that I missed? Or, because I think I've done this all the way around. Is we getting back to the moon? I think we did that. Maybe I need to drop on it from higher up. No, that's definitely not it. <sighs> Sun, moon, and stars. Celestial bodies, though. That's the thing that they'll probably use if they want us to get there later on in the story. Alright, so they don't want to be there. I want to jump on this stone thing. Ride this up where I need to go. Oh, hey, it's got my... Uh, shows a little 32 there. Okay, so I don't think we've been here either. Maybe this is where we're supposed to be. Zebu would not budge, for he was the one who sustained the land, but the rest of them split into two sides and continued the battle. Oh, this is a dead end. But I learned about Zabu, which is probably like... I probably just about beat the game now, right? Zabu learning, that's... That's where, uh... Most of your game victory comes into play right there. These hand things are actually not too hard to avoid. Whoa. 
that was kind of close. Well, how do you... Can you jump in? No, you can't grab ladders in midair. There's got to be a way to lower that ladder down then. There's a ton of stuff that I just don't understand at all. Maybe I'm just terrible at this game. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Yeah, what's up? Kill this thing real quick. That thing doesn't have a head. It seems like it's seen better days. Maybe I can jump into it or something? I don't know. I can land on it. And it looks like there's another section of this area that I can get to. Those guys take quite a bit of life and don't give you a whole lot. String flies at the foot of Futo. Which one is Futo? Oh no! All this time they've been telling me about which one of these statues is which? Where am I down here, though? Where do I go when I go down here? Twin labyrinths. Oh, wow. There's a blue eye. Can I hit this, though? Very carefully. What's over? Oh, I can't. What's that thing do? I don't want to deal with that thing. I can't, like, scrunch down, so I don't think I can just hit that thing. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here. Twin labyrinths, huh? Oh, I guess I probably should have read that stone first. Well, these are still bats, so maybe I'm in business. What the hell? Um... I might be a little bit lost now. Okay, let's try going in here. Oh, little brother shop, what's this? Orphal should pose no problem with this helmet on. What does that mean? I'll purchase it, I guess. I'm grateful, well that's nice of you. And as always, I'll just buy five of these, because why not? Okay, so... Helmet. Keeps your head safe and sound. No more being washed away by the waterfall. Okay, so I can go back to that waterfall, like, or by town, I guess. So that's something. Whoa. I thought maybe I would accidentally hit something there. Uh, a statue in the shape of a dolphin. The designs do not match that of any known civilization. It's a really pissed off looking dolphin. Can I go in here? No, I can't go in here. Well, I gotta figure out a way to get the hell out of here so that I can test out my new safety helmet. I don't know why I'm trying to do this hard jump when I can just go around it the long way. All right, so coming back up here, I think probably takes me to, never mind something I haven't ever seen before. What is that thing? What the heck is that? What's this thing? Oh, God! What exploding all these friggin' bats? It didn't say a damn thing to me. Okay, let's just get the hell out of here. What are these things? They don't seem chill. Is there a blue thing in here? There, okay. And there's not a blue eye, so I guess maybe I'm okay doing stuff like that. Oh, crap. There we go, got it. I don't want to waste projectiles if I don't have to, but I might as well. There we go. Well, am I down to 24 shuriken? It's not great. Got this helmet, though, so we're doing something. There's just so much stuff that I have no context for in this game. That's the the biggest difficulty with it. The thing that makes it hardest, I think, is that there's so little context for what's going on. I'm losing a lot of health here, too. 
All right, let's just try and go up because I can't even read that tablet to begin with. So I'm just back here. Damn it. Wait, this is back where we started. Oh, look at me go. Okay. So I still have to figure out where the power lies. Whoa. We will just forget about that guy. All right, so we need to figure out where the power lies. Gotta get out of here first though. Oh my God, I'm getting really wrapped up in this. I don't know if this was good to do a Let's Play on. Okay, so these two kids, who are these guys then? And if I found out who Leto was, how would I even power lies? What, how do I utilize that information? Okay, I just want to get to a save point because I can get out of here. With a couple of tries, I can get out of here, no problem. There we go, gotcha. Okay, Moonlit Night. Moonlit Night, maybe that's... Oh man, there's just so many mysteries and I don't know which one I'm supposed to be solving right now. Like, that's that's part of the issue, is that I'm not sure which mystery to solve. But I think we need to get back to that waterfall for right now. I think that'll probably be a step in the right direction. What's over this way though? Anything useful? Anybody remember? Oh, I've never been this way, but I can't do anything this way. There's a ladder, though. Oh, is that the one ladder that I couldn't utilize anyway? Have I ever been in that door? I don't think so. I don't think I realized this was a door last time. Blanket of countless stars spread over Badu, falling into a deep slumber. Um, what is that? Can't rest in peace if you don't buy something. What is this? I'm not selling that anymore. What is it though? It's awesome. These bits, they belong to a legendary hero. I'll buy it. More, buy more. You already got those. Okay. What did they do though? Look at me getting all these things. Footwear said to have been donned by the legendary hero increases walking speed. Look at me walk. Oh, look, the, little, the boots are on him in the picture too. I think the helmet's probably on him too, maybe. Unless he's rocking kind of a mullet-like thing. Oh man, I'm walking like a damn pro now. I've been walking my whole friggin' life. This is actually a, a marked increase in walk speed. Just gotta help me get out of here alive. I don't know, like there's a lot of stuff going on. You gotta try and keep track of. Alright, 18. I just wanna get back I think I have to go left to get out of this area cuz I oh Jesus Christ nine life that was not the best moment of mine I forgot completely about that and I paid dearly for it I'm almost out of life and I'm gonna have to waste another weight here super lame Then I'm walking so friggin' fast now. Catch that thing easy. Let's just get out of this friggin' temple and get back to civilization. So I can take a header off of a friggin' cliff. So that I can maybe... I don't know if I knew that that was a trapdoor before. Is the whole thing a trapdoor? How come that guy didn't trigger the trapdoor? Maybe we can just go around it all the way remember wow I'm way faster like I'm legitimately super fast we were unable to fulfill the great mother's wishes okay so I did read that one okay gotcha eleven dollars I'm climbing out of this part of the ruins those things are exploding. I just want to get out of here. 
Stuff is spitting at me, which is making me really sad. Can you buy life ever? Like, I don't see anywhere that you would be able or you would have that option to buy life. Like, if you're a little bit down on it. Well, that wasn't great. I like these rats because they stop in front of you, you know? So they give you plenty of time to just whack them in the face. Oh, let's grab that too, because I might be able to increase my health, which would be super helpful. Because then I would not be as terrified of everything as I try and get out of this freaking place. I think I can go right here, right? I think this is where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, I think we're getting out of here. Uh, if there's something that increased my jump height, I would have been okay with that. But for right now, I just want to... I think we're almost out of the ruins. So that's probably where we'll end the episode. And then we'll check out that waterfall next time. And uh, I think that'll be pretty good. We're at least here, which is fine by me. Get that going. Save real quick. Save to feel good about that. Kill this thing. Hey, I gotta wait. Perfect. Alright, I think we're just about out of here. Yep, there we go. Excellent. Way to go, me. Good for me. I found a bowl. Oh. Okay, let's just jump out of this place. This place is not super friendly. It's not the best. Not very, not very good amenities, I gotta say. So we'll just go back, then we have to go... I think it's up a little and to like the left or something. Boom. But here we are back in town, so I'm just gonna go ahead and save really quick. And that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, you guys. We did some stuff. Some very crazy stuff. Yeah, it's like up and to the right, I think. Because up and to the left is the dude with all the eyes on him. We don't need to deal with him yet. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for checking out this episode. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you all on the next one.